Hey, what's up? It's Nico. Today I would like to show you a new way how you can generate a lot more short form copy opposed to the old way. So let's start with the old way. On my canvas, you see a list of subject lines that I recently used. So if I would create a framework that writes me new subject lines, I can use these subject lines as sample data and let the framework create new subject lines for me. So let me quickly build the instruction. All right, that's it for the instruction. You can see I'm not using an input one variable and thus I will not get a text field. So I would just let AI continue writing based on the sample data, no inputs given. So let's see how this looks like. As you can see, there's no input fields for this framework because we didn't use input one or input two or whatever. So it's not always necessary to have an input field, especially if you're building frameworks that are not universal, but just fulfill very specific needs. In my example, subject lines for my copywriting app. So let's check it out. All right, there we go. We got five results. We got five subject lines. Now, we can click write for me again. We will get five new subject lines based on my sample data, but we can actually get a whole lot more subject lines if we restructure the instruction. So let me show you what I mean. Okay, now you can see that I only have one sample data and that's subject line. I can now go in and insert my sub sequence and then say subject line again and AI will continue writing. Now here's the problem. If our label for our outputs matches the label for our inputs, then AI will just repeat the inputs as outputs. Now this is advanced knowledge, but it's very important to understand. So if you just write subject line as input and then subject line as output, AI will likely just repeat the input as output. So this will not help us at all. So what we can do now is we can tweak the labels such that they are not similar. So what I would do is subject lines that sell, and these are my samples for subject lines that sell. And now I want AI to write subject lines that convert. And now this is different from this label. If I would write subject lines that sell, this output label matches the input label and AI will just repeat the input here. So I'm going with subject lines that convert. All right, let's check it out. All right, look at this. Now we have five outputs, one, two, three, four, five. And each output has like 10 to 20 to 30 subject lines. Okay, that's pretty repetitive. That's the problem of AI. But still we have at least like 10 times the outputs 10 times as many subject lines compared to our first try. So I think you get the idea. I now have a unlimited repository, almost unlimited, of subject lines I could use based on my sample data. The key point here really is, you cannot repeat your label with this example. If you only have like this example, you don't have any inputs. You don't have like an input one or whatever then it's very important that these labels are different. And then you can create crazy stuff like this. And what I would do now is I now have this subject lines. Now let me go in and delete the first one. I'm going to rename the 
second one to just subject lines, save it. And what I would do now is I would go to, to workflows and I would go to library, new. And what I would do is I would search for subject line and I have this subject lines inside CC tutorial. As you can see, I have tested this before. And um, I think it's this one. Let me see. Yeah, should be this one. And then I have emails like Frank. And I think this is my favorite one. So I now have my perfect email workflow or let's say my sales email workflow save it open it and now step one is my subject lines framework we just created and step two is my emails like Frank framework and if you are curious what this is I have a video on YouTube that's called how to write emails like a pro and inside this video on YouTube you will see exactly how I built this framework so this framework takes a subject line and a topic so what I would do now is I would go to step one and let AI write my subject line and then based on these subject lines I would pick one and input it in step two which is my emails like Frank framework and you will see in a second what I mean Okay, let me quickly find a subject line. Okay, what I'm noticing here is some of these subject lines are actually inside my sample data as well. So it's not perfect. Maybe I can play around with the creativity to get rid of this, but that's not the point of this video. So let's just pick one subject line. A proven approach to create super high converting blog posts. Let's pick this one. Go over to step two, which is my email select Frank framework. Put in the subject line and the topic is still the same. And now let this framework write the email. So the idea of the workflow is that I can have two frameworks side by side and switch between. Of course, you can do all these things inside frameworks by just opening a framework and then opening the next framework. But this workflow approach makes more sense, especially if you have a step-by-step -step sequence, which I have for my email workflow. At first, I find a subject line. Next, I'm writing the email. Okay, let's see. The first result. A while back, I used a little bit of copywriting software to crank out some insanely high converting blog posts and videos for my business. It was so easy. And yeah, it talks about the technique with anything, it's incredible stuff, blah, blah, blah. It talks about the training, so I would just replace the training with my software. Let's see the next one. I've been using this program to write my copy for years and years, and every time I look up the results, I'm impressed, yada, 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 and I could go on and on with this. And now you can see that I now have my first draft of the emails that I typically write. And if you have been on my list for a while, you probably... Uh, saw some of this writing style. It's not me who writes this. It's actually AI who writes this and I just copy edit it. So anyway, this is all to it for this video. I know it is a little bit advanced and if you have no idea what we are doing right here, please go over to closescopy.com slash help and there go to frameworks and go to customize because this is the essential training you need to understand what we did here but once you do you can also go to workflows and you will see exactly what i did with this workflow okay this video already got longer than i wanted it to be i just wanted to provide you how i write my emails like a follow-up video on my how to write emails like a pro i know it's a little bit more sophisticated but i hope you get something out of it so yeah have a great day